on these aspects is that almost we are at the fag end of our syllabus okay almost we are putting the things in order is that 15 5 2 0 2 4 what it says it talks about uh, the required describe substantive procedures auditors should perform bank and cash when we we take the things is that be very clear sometimes they will ask okay what is the sir this is the standard format standard format only thing little bit little bit plus the scenario will be changed okay scenario will be changed. there are seven marks assume seven points well explained audit procedures whenever we talk about audit procedures is it right make it a point put it in two sentences is that the what is my observations okay put one sentence full stop then add another sentence try to avoid using and try to avoid okay and no put full stop start new sentence once it is a completed pulls full stop next new sentence okay try to provide try to avoid and no note that substantive procedures are required so do not mention test of control this is one of the repeated suggestions given by the examiners repeated suggestions okay test of controls and substantive procedure you are asked now whenever we are going to subsequently whenever you are going to have we will do specifically one question where we will take test of controls as well as substantive procedures side by side okay as well as side so that you will have more clear distinction about what is the test of controls and what is the substantive procedures okay so do not mention test of control you are asked for audit procedures procedures means yes we have to send confirmation we have to get back confirmation we have to see what is the opening balances what are opening balances are tallied with the uh, ledger accounts we are asking for a in, uh, uh, op the accounts which has been closed during the year we are asking for verifying where which balances have zero balances we are asking we are verifying with respect to the any collaterals are there guarantees are there any loans are there terms and conditions are there likewise this is the procedures which we are going to follow on bank so do not focus only on the bank balance see this is nothing like that i can say with all my uh, understanding they have given no exam will have such a clear cut instructions given to you that how to follow how to work out the things is that when we say what is the requirement they say that what is the substantive procedures for bank and cash balances now send a confirmation request to the bank we know this okay to the bank about savings you have to send a confirmation request first with the with the uh, approval of the client in the clients okay with the approval of the client send first you have to send uh, holding that current and savings account of socks industry so that year end balances will be verified is that first thing is you have to send the confirmation that is the beginning point Re may review whether they have done reconciliations is that year end reconciliations of bank balance as per general and bank balance as per the bank letter is that that because why you are talking we are, we are when we are saying it is a bank letter it is a external confirmation is that it is a external confirmation external confirmation is more reliable than internal com confirmation whatever the balances we are getting we have to tally with the ledger reperform the bank reconciliation for each account and investigate any differences we are just what we are not we are not preparing is it that we are reperforming that yeah. these these words are the lifeline 
okay these words these are the verbs these are the lifeline review reperform next what you are doing we are agreeing the balance of the financial statements to the ledger and see we are having three things here we are talking in terms of financial statements we are talking in terms to the uh, agree the balance per the fi draft financial statements is that draft financial statement is nothing but I can, I can we can put it in the balance sheet is it right with when we are doing this it is nothing but we are working with trial balance also with the general ledger specific account okay specific account with the bank reconciliation we are having multiple evidences is that whatever is there every way it has to be verified agreed and presented okay review financial statements to confirm that all amounts and disclosures related to cash has been correctly stated again you have to see we'll, we'll, what we'll do we'll review what is given in the financial statements okay what we are going to confirm what we have we have presented is that what we have been disclosed related to cash every every cash petty cash uh, cash balances bank balances whether we have is it is nothing but the we are talk, we will prepare a list uh, as per the list everything has been taken into consideration or not we will review it okay we will review it now trace checks now little bit advanced okay little bit advanced at a higher level trace checks shown as outstanding from the bank see nowadays as a matter of fact is that bank reconciliation statement is done with the help of software okay even you take the excel it is the most simplest way we are doing is the most simplest way we will say that what has been tallied what has not been done trace checks which are outstanding checks is a from the bank to the cash book what happens see prior to the end what are the outstanding checks in 2023 what are those checks has been carried forward or not is that those outstanding is that before date and after date and if there is this is the point which you have to be focused any large or unusual items not cleared at the time of audit is that anything see what happens because of in some cases because of shortage of cash you will give instructions to the bank that hold the check is it hold the check anything is there before before see what happens assume a, a check of 20 million take an example i will not say 20 million it's too too high i will say that a check of 150 hundred thousands you, you are holding the check and you are saying that don't 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 clear this check because what happens if you are, if you are, you are issued the check what will, your bank balance will decrease is that your bank balance will decrease at the end of the year if the bank balance is less definitely it will have implications on your financial statement you say that this this check has been dated for 25th of december don't don't clear it don't uh, clear it clear it on the 3rd of january then what will happen actually it belongs to the this year but it is going to be cleared in the next year with with if it is not cleared automatically the bank balance will be more the cash balance will be the bank balance will be more during the year and next year next month uh, next year the it will get cleared it will have effect on the bank balance so whenever you see that's the most important thing what happening this is what it says the last 15 days is the last week the last 15 days of the closing and the first 15 days of next opening are very very crucial any large movement of cash is it any large movement of the checks unusual items is it right you have to be very very carefully monitor it compare there cash. Is more yes than a question. what are the adjustments needed in current year accounts so the expenses would be 
I mean, they will adjust the expenses report to to incre- uh, increase. They will reverse it or what? Because the check was not issued at the time of audit. Suppose this check, which is outstanding, was issued to a supplier. Hmm. So they will they will adjust the expense, so it will increase because it was not cashed by the supplier. I mean the check. See that. Now how many how many things will get affected? Likely make it a point. When you are talking in terms of outstanding, is that outstanding payables? Is that outstanding? Actually, you have when the when you are issuing a check, what will happen? Your bank balance will decrease. Your payables will also decreases. Is it? It affects the thing. If we do it accordingly, nothing will happen. If you do intentionally, we cannot balance so many accounts perfectly. This is the accounting, accounting secret. As simple as that. The moment you try to do intentionally something to hold the things, something to. Uh, fluctuate the balances definitely it will get trapped so don't if somebody is holding the checks okay somebody is holding the thing that it has not been sent for clearance for time being the bank balance will be more is that the bank balance will be more but automatically what's happening here payables are also more your payables are not decreasing is it right Payables are not decreasing. Just to make sure that we don't want to have any any um, uh, message that the bank balance is less in the financial statement, we are holding the checks. But what the message is very clearly in a negative way. Okay, very clearly here we are for time being temporarily we are holding the checks. Auditors will check this. Auditors will check this. When you have issued it on twenty fifth of December, why it has not been cleared? And it's a huge amount. Is it? It's not a small amount. It's a huge amount. It will have impact on the bank balances. So end of the year for the adjustment, they are going to increase the cash and they are going to increase the payables as well. Yes, exactly. What's happening? Same thing happening. Is it? See. You have issued a check, is it right? You have issued a check of, assume two hundred thousand riyals. When you have issued the checks of two hundred thousand riyals, you will tell to the bank that hold it. You will tell to your customer also, as simple as that. You will tell to your customer, the client that hold the check. When you are holding the checks, payables will remain same. Bank balance will also remain same. Next month, what happens? You say that okay. Next on third of January, you clear the things. It's not only affecting you, is it right? It affecting the client also. It affecting the client financial statements also. What in your in your account, your bank balance is more. That will be reflected. That will be reflected in your financial statements. Yes, you will say that yes, the bank balance is a compared plus two hundred thousands. It gives a ba- positive message. Yes, they have a good enough cash with them. Enough cash is there. Now think in another way. Think negatively. Okay, think negatively. If you are going to say that your balance is your if you are your balance is only two hundred thousands. Okay, your balance is only two hundred thousands. Now you are bal- okay. You are issuing the checks immediately. In in one case, it may become zero, or in other case, it will become negative also. It will become negative. Think very extreme negative way. That okay, we have two hundred thousand cash. We are issuing it. We are the check is cleared. Automatically, what will happen? It will be negative, or it will become a zero also. So that is one of the reasons the client. What the client will do that they say they communicate with other party and say that hold the cash. But it is not affecting you only, is it? It is not affecting you only. It is also affecting the client because his cash balance will be less. Your cash balance will be more. We are not bothered about his what happening to his statements. We are bothered about what happened to our state. 
So this is one of the reasons and most important, this is not only one of the reasons, this is very significant reason. I am putting it in a purple color, okay? Purple color. Any large unusual items not cleared at the time of audit. Yeah? Not Now what happens, you will ask me, is that this is till 31st December. You are doing audit. Okay, you are doing audit. The audit is the year end audit. You are you are doing audit for for assume that you are started you are the year year end audit started from 10th January. 10th January. Immediately you will ask why these checks has been not cleared during that time and it has been cleared in the, this period. When there was a enough space or margin that you have issued well before in advance, but it has not been cleared. Is it okay? Yeah. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. Compare, see the compare cash and bank statement in detail for the last month of the year. Keep it, see the, what they are saying for the last month of the year and match any outstanding at the reconciliation to bank statements. They are very much clear that what have happened, I, at least I told you the last 15 days. I told you only last 15 days, but in total last month, last 15 days. Is that last month, in the month, December is very crucial. Is that December is very crucial. Because what happens, you see the thing, the, there is huge cash movements in the month of December. Huge cash movements, is it that? Because the reasons are, various reasons are there. The, you have a closing year, is it that? You will have the budget. Is that if you have the budget, if you are not spending the budget, in the December they want to use the budget to the extent possible. Is that to use the budget extent possible? Definitely there will be huge spending will be there. Huge spending will be there. This we are talking from a positive aspect. In some cases what will happen? You will have the shortages will be there. There is a compulsion. There is a compulsion that we have to show positive balances in or cash balance in our financial statements. The higher the cash balance you are showing, not I'm not talking about the higher, reasonable. Is that reasonable cash balance? If you are showing the reasonable cash balance, definitely it will give you a positive side. So these are the things. If on the one side people wish to spend to to utilize the budget in the last month of the year, that is the reason. Last month and first month are very crucial whenever we are talking about the bank and cash substantive procedures. Is it okay? Yeah. Fine. Obtain explanation for all cash book which are no corresponding entries. It will not happen. Understand right? Extreme cases. Now the things are there you will not have. But you have to write. Okay. You have to write. This is all what we are talking about theoretically. If there is a, any, for there is no corresponding entries in the bank statement and vice versa by discussing with the finance, a, obtain satisfactory explanation for all items in the cash book for which no correspond. Corresponding entries means debits and credits are not there. That never happened. But we are talking in terms of organized companies. Is that? We are talking about our, the, the reason is when you are doing the when you are doing an audit is it right? when you are doing an audit for small entities is it when you are doing audit for the see the rules are very simple if you are the the turnover is going to be more than 150 thousands is it if the turnover is more than 150 thousand it the you, we the company has to do the statutory audit it has to, the financial statements should get audited. Now, when you are talking about 150,000, most of the thing, it's just, see, 150,000, technically, if you ask me, every other business nowadays, they will do. 
every other business is that every other not only the medium small scale industries they will do 150000 is is a very reachable amount and for that you have to you have to go do the audit as such now in that case definitely you cannot imagine even the companies which are doing a turnover of 500000 you will find so many so many uh, inconsistencies okay so many inconsistencies depreciation capital expenditure revenue expenditure it is we will find hardly you are on the other side but if you are on the on the auditing side you will feel the experience that people find it very difficult what how to differentiate between revenue expenditure and capital expenditure where it have to be shown in the petty cash and where it has to be shown in the cash book they will they will they will have multiple errors as such okay our job is as an auditor if there is any no corresponding entries are there definitely we have to think with the finance tab that is where we are talking about there are errors okay you will have error of omission will be there is that error of omission is i told you i think i told you before you will have a error of commission will be there is it then you will have the error of principal will be there that these are the three accounting errors that that we will come across with respect to financial statement anything is there we have to but there is not a complete 100% proof that it is going to be uh, uh, error free okay verify contra items what i told you about contra items last class Yes or no? It is. Contra items. Last class I told you. For example, if there is audit fee, uh, bank fees and bank interest income. Cash deposit in bank. Is it cash deposit in bank account or cash withdrawal? Is it cash withdrawal? Usually at a larger at a larger level. These are all restrictions they have imposed now. Okay, these are all in restrictions they have imposed now. These are the restrictions which has been been in place with a lot of terms and conditions we cannot now there is almost every way there is a transfers are there but we cannot think that this is a blanket rule that is applied to all the entities whenever there is a cash deposit two things will get affected one side cash balance is it right cash balance will decrease the another side bank balance will increase if in other case do you are withdrawing the cash cash balance will increase and the bank balance will decrease the the simultaneously the cash and bank columns are affecting is known as contra items simultaneously i'm repeating this simultaneously our own cash book cash column as well as bank column is affecting then it is going to be called as a contra items verify contra items appearing in the cash book or bank statement with original entry you are depositing the cash is that it is related to cash technically is it right when it is related to cash you have to be you are handling the cash you have to be very careful whether we have deposited the whatever the amount which has been withdrawn it has to be deposited whatever we have uh, cash balance has been credited bank balance uh, cash balance has been debited bank balance has been credited simultaneous debits and credits should be matched 
is that these are called this is called as a contra items remember carefully if you want you can write down in your notes is it the transactions which are affecting cash and bank balance simultaneously example cash withdrawal or cash deposit in our own account okay in our in our own account fine now what so we are doing do we need, pardon why do we need to track the original entry in this case in this last point original entry means it is a evidence na no? it is evident that yes whether the whether the general entry has been passed whether the uh, transactions has been taken place and we have to verify with the original entry as such is it in the cash book right pardon in the cash book in the cash book as well as see in the cash book also you will have cash column and bank column is it in the cash book with 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 the bank statements is it in the cash book with the bank statement you are with see when you are withdrawing cash practically practically business accounts we will not withdraw cash understand what since this is a very sensitive practically we, any try any payments any receipts it has to be done through transfers only but if there is any withdrawals are there what is the reason for withdrawal what is the reason for deposits when you are see when we are depositing from where you get the from where you are getting the source of money that is also important thing that is what we are doing are we collecting the cash from our clients they immediately audit will have a query from where you get the cash are you collecting you have go to the original entry when you are going to the original entry then you have go to the one step back from where you got the cash is it so dealing with cash is very very sensitive when we are saying that yes uh, the cash deposits or cash withdrawals will be closely scrutinized okay regarding the the first three points in the slide suppose the company issued a check to a supplier then in the cash book um they will make adjustments so cash will decrease and expenses will decrease the same will not be reflected in the bank statement suppose the the supplier uh, didn't deposit the the check so the auditors will do reconciliation they will compare the balance in the cash book with the balance as per the bank statement yes and they will adjust it right so if there's st- if it is still outstanding and was not cleared as per the bank statement they will as as we agreed previously we will increase the the cash and we will decrease the and we will increase the uh, the payables huh okay you want explanation for this no i'm just explaining to yeah exactly w- w- what is you see okay. uh, uh, the, just i will add something more to it see we are th- there is n- this there is no hard and fast rule that there should not be any unusual items there is no hard and fast rule keep it in mind you cannot say that you should not have these things no it will be there by na- by by default it will be there there is no precondition what they are saying that if there are any outstanding or unusual items just obtain explanation for that is that there is no hard and fast rule there is no that you cannot take a stick and say that yes why it is there why it is not there no it happens sometimes you have issued the check sometimes you have issued the checks i will tell you sometimes you have issued the check in the month of november still it is not cleared till 31st december it is not clear because checks validity will be for how many months 6 months checks validity for 6 months okay you are keeping you have you have not deposited that that will be reflected in the bank reconciliation that is the that will be reflected in the bank reconciliation maybe he will deposit in the month of march fine nothing will happen there is no hard and fast rule that 
they should not be unusual items if there are any if if there are any unusual items what is the task of a auditor to obtain an explanation for this that's all yeah to obtain the explanation for means the the understanding says that if there is un, any unusual items or large items then you will you will suspect very simple as an auditor you will suspect unusual item sale of machinery unusual item purchase of machinery huge item is there you are not, you are doing purchases at the end of the year last 15 days last one week you are doing you are on the purchasing spree whatever is there you have to purchase you are purchasing assets left right and center is that people will say why you are doing this in the only the last month those for those are type of items you will ask explanation okay okay verify by inspecting paying slips this is another crucial area understand point this is another crucial area paying slips okay where we are talking in terms of uncleared bankings okay when you are we are now you are depositing the check you are depositing the cash definitely pay see this is also avoided keep it in mind these are all the shortcomings all the shortcomings has been avoided over a period of time if you are having any paying slips definitely it will it will give what is the check number even you are talking it we are taking in terms of cash we are talking in terms of bank just imagine you are depositing a check in the bank this that is the reason you you observe it is it a, you observe it whenever you have a cdm cash deposit machine okay you will have cdm separately for corporate banking is it cdm or adm atm is it a, separate for corporate bank corporate banking you have a separate you take most of the yeah? you have corporate banking will be different you have it different for a retail banking even you have a one cdm is it right? even you have a one cdm or atm is it right? atm cdm you will have a separate classification will be there whether you are a corporate banking customer or you are a retail banking customer automatically you are you are uh, you are uh, bank card will get identified is it right? this is why we are segregating paying slips paying slips wherever you are handling physically with respect to depositing the checks we have to be very careful is that right? paid in period to the year end last month okay in period to the year month it is the last one verify balances per the cash book according to the bank reconciliation by inspecting the cash book bank statements and general ledger see the thing now i will tell you whenever there is a audit for the bank okay whenever there is a aud auditors are coming yeah, internal auditors or external auditors at the branch level okay at the branch level first what you will do they will straight away check what is the cash balance is that they will say straight away first thing is they will check, check, verify what is the cash balance the what is the physical cash balance and what is the cash balance as per the system is that cash balance as the, the physical cash balance and the system cash balance should be tallied should be verified and should be accurate and they will take the print out of that and they will the auditor will sign and the staff will sign is that this are this is what the the first thing this not only here we are talking in terms of bank is that in terms of manufacturing companies is that in terms of manufacturing companies in terms of retail industries is that with there we will talk it will take into consideration the inventory what is the inventory physically physically you will inspect yes this is the inventory for the bank cash in an is an inventory for the manufacturing company the finished goods are the inventory 
is it? They will they will say inspecting the cash book, your bank statement, and your general ledger. In all three, three are three divid, multiple evidences. Is it that one, two, and three? Revise this once it is over. Okay, revise this, write this. Verify bank balance with reply to the standard bank letter with the bank statement. I told you when we are sending the when we are sending the request for the bank. we have to send with the approval of the client but the bank responding will be directly to the auditor is that directly the in they have we have to enclose the address envelope which is going to be addressed to the auditors the bank has to reply directly to the auditors is that we have to verify the bank balances from the bank in the standard letter with respect to the bank statement inspect the cash book and bank statement before And after year end, again they say exceptional entries or transfers which have a material effect, which is having a good amount, is it that on the balance shown to be cash in hand? In the previous case, we are talking about the bank transactions. Here we are talking about in terms of cash transactions. is that in terms of cash transactions you have to very inspect the cash is there any exceptional entries are there both in terms of deposits and withdrawals or transfers which have and the material effect and most importantly identify when any accounts are secured on the assets of the company any any accounts are see we have taken any loans is there any guarantees is there any collaterals is there any collateral a these are the thing if, if there any thing is there with respect to the any bank account sometimes what will happen they will put the restrictions they will put the restrictions on the bank account you cannot do this type of transactions you you cannot you in simple way you have savings accounts and current accounts in the business we use current accounts only okay we use current accounts only we will not have any savings accounts and in some cases what will happen we we are we are getting the uh, if you are talking in terms of overdraft is that we if you are trying is there anything which we are we are uh, we are going to uh, uh we are we are uh, getting any any cash resources against any specific assets when we are talking about the assets sometimes what will happen in terms of inventory it is nothing but the pledge okay it is nothing but the pledge or we get, we, ha we have any any accounts which are secured or which has been uh, specifically uh, uh, bank accounts which are specifically uh, Uh, taken against any assets with respect to the cash transactions is it clear about this yeah fine the last one okay the last one what happens in terms of cash is that previously we are talking in terms see the we are first we are talking about the bank balances is that first we are talking about the bank balances next we are talking in terms of cash count year end cash balance and match to cash records such as petty cash book such as petty cash book is that when 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 you are having the petty every every other firm every other business will maintain petty cash book is that a what is the physical cash and what is the system registered cash what we are doing obtain certificates of cash in hand from responsible officers it's not only the we are talking about the petty cashier petty cashier who is the who is the supervising authority from there also we have to get the said what is the closing balance review draft financial statement to confirm that all amounts the disclosures has been correctly stated 
means when you are sh showing in the current assets the cash in hand is it cash in hand and cash at bank this cash in hand preferably it is a petty cash plus plus any other cash if they are holding it when you are you when you are saying that is the current assets make sure that whatever the cash in hand this petty cash amount has to be included whether they have included this petty cash or they have not included this petty cash that is what it says to confirm we are confirming that the all the amounts has been have a relevant disclosures is it clear to you is it fine yeah. fine what we have done in this in this one in this one what we have done i am going to the beginning we are talking in terms of bank and cash is that in bank and cash well, uh, what are the objectives of cash existence completion rights obligations and valuation and disclosure they are talking about the confirmations procedures to be confirmation how the bank confirmation request has to be obtained is that what are the things what what are the things we have to include in the bank confirmation letter okay what are the what are the items we have to include in the bank confirmation letter and what is the procedure of getting bank confirmation is that what is the procedures of bank confirmation window dressing this hardly we come across this concept okay and what is the substantive procedures with respect to the bank uh, balances okay bank balances fine is it clear yeah okay 